world, it's Hannah, and this week's video is a tutorial inspired by rhythmic gymnast Laura Zhang. Laura is a 17-ish year old teenager who competes with the US Olympic Rhythmic Gymnastics team. She's an absolutely gorgeous gymnast, I love watching her. And she did a beautiful routine in the qualifying round in 2015. I have a playlist of rhythmic gymnastics videos, so if you want to watch and get inspired, you can go check out that playlist, I'll link it below. She is just, oh my god, she's stunning. She's stunning, and she does this beautiful combination at the very beginning of her routine that I thought I could take and adapt for hula hoop dance and make it into something that is accessible and usable for anyone who just wants to add something new into their hula hoop flow or their hula hoop dance. So that's what I did and I hope you like it because I think it's really cool. Rhythmic gymnastics is just so beautiful. It's such a gorgeous art form. It combines flexibility and contortion with some tumbling and then using the actual apparatus itself, the hula hoop, to just create a highly choreographed and very difficult routine that is then used in competitions. I've been a huge fan of rhythmic gymnastics for a long time and I've often thought about how I could take rhythmic gymnastics dance routines and incorporate them into my own hula hooping and my own work. So that's what I did with this trick and I hope you really enjoy it. It's a super fun combination and it's actually not that hard. It really isn't. So keep watching and I hope you enjoy. So let's break this combination down. Now, one thing I want you to note while watching this combination is that Laura is trying to cram in as many high-level tricks as possible in a short period of time because that's how she's going to gain points for the Olympics. We're going to make it a little slower and more accessible, so don't worry about how fast she's doing it. At the beginning, Laura starts in this lovely pose with her left arm wrapped behind her back. I tried to recreate this but didn't turn my body enough, and also I look a little bloated because my period started this morning, so just bear with me on that. But Laura's body and the hoop are on the same plane, whereas I held the hoop at my side, partly because I added this behind the back catch as a transition into the combo. So do whatever you like, there are a lot of variations and a lot of ways you can transition into this combination. As the music starts, Laura steps forward and grabs the hoop with her right hand. The rest of this combo is done entirely with your right hand up until the end. Now watch as she grabs the hoop, her left hand circles around to give her momentum for a small split jump. I tried to recreate this and I swore my back leg felt straight the whole time, but it's not, so don't worry if you can't do this jump perfectly, I can't either, but I just did it as best I could. Next, watch Laura's feet. She does this quick little run with her feet, and I left that out in my version, but you can add it in if you want. At the same time as she's doing this little jig, the hoop rolls over the back of her right hand, almost like an outside back balance isolation. In fact, I think that's what it is. So to do this trick, give the hoop a push backwards so that it rolls up and over the back of your hand, and as it starts to fall on the other side towards your pinky, turn your hand to catch the hoop. After catching the hoop, pull it around so it's far out in front of you, arm fully extended towards your front, and holding the hoop in the middle. Now what you're going to do is pull the hoop across your body and catch it directly across from where you were holding it. You'll get the momentum you need for this by pulling it hard and pulling it sharply. After you have caught the hoop, from there you're going to pull the hoop onto your arm above your elbow and you want to make sure that the hoop is spinning backwards. This is very important because if the hoop is spinning forwards, you won't be able to do the next trick in this combination. And make sure that after it's on your elbow, you get a really strong rotation going. That strong rotation is going to be key for the next part of this trick, which is my favorite part of the whole combination. So let's talk about that now. I call this trick the kick break. Laura runs a few paces with the hoop spinning backwards on her arm, and she does that because she has to cover a certain amount of area on the floor to gain points in rhythmic gymnastics. But you don't need to do that. You can do this trick standing still. For this trick, you need to time the backward spin of the hoop with raising your leg so the back of your knee makes contact with the hoop, knocking it forwards. Laura actually jumps while kicking slash breaking the hoop backwards, but I did this standing on the ground. Your leg needs to rise up to a 90 degree angle with your knee bent back. It helps me to point my toe while doing this. When the rotation of the hoop is above your head, begin to raise your leg into position. As the hoop rotates down, forcefully connect the back of your knee to the hoop, enough to change its rotation. To transition out of the whole thing, you can rotate the hoop over your head and end with a flourish. And there you have it, the kick break tutorial inspired by U.S. gymnast Laura Zhang. Thanks for watching. Happy hooping. 
If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for new videos every Sunday and uh, keep an eye out for more videos in this rhythmic gymnastics theme because I'm definitely going to be doing more, incorporating more, and hopefully as we go and as we learn, get the skill level up higher and higher so we're doing some really, really cool rhythmic gymnastics stuff. Thank you so much for watching Hooping World. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and tutorial. Subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Sunday and I will see you next week right here with a new video. So... That's it. Okay, thanks.